Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I am back with um, our second video in the new series about um, creating a junk journal idea book. So I did a poll on YouTube. You guys are awesome. I can't believe how many responses I got. And I just laid out a, a few ideas, right, and said, you know, which would you like to see me start on first? And lots of responses. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... But by far, it was the um, flips and fold outs, right? And so we're going to do a few ideas today. Um, and so if you've got your journal and you're going to craft along with me, that is awesome. Before we start, I have gotten quite a few questions about like what types of journals will work. And um, so why don't we just spend a second and talk about that. I shared with you, this was just an old... Um, it's a hardback, you know, one of the notebooks that, you know, you take notes in or journal in or something that, that's pre-made. And I used it at work, and um, some of the pages were blank. I, I pretty much had used it on the last page, I guess. A couple pages were blank. But a lot of the pages I, had only, I hadn't written on at all or um, just a little bit. And I went through... There wasn't really anything. I mean, it was kind of my to-do lists and notes from some meetings. But um, I just kind of went through and used scraps and covered things up. Um, it's going to look nice and junky and fun when I get done. So I'm really excited. Um, but you can make a journal like um, I've shown you all before. Um, this is an idea book that I've done previously. And I have other ones. And I just put in three big... I sewed in just three big signatures of all different kinds of papers, coffee dye, um, book page, uh, just, it, you know, whatever. This was some handmade paper. There's a little fold out for you. Um, journaling spots, but, you know, music sheet, just whatever. And then I've just put all my ideas in there. So you could do that. But you could absolutely, somebody said, you know, can I just get a book at a thrift store? Or you go to the dollar store and, you know, the Dollar Tree, something like that. And if you don't feel like you have enough space, you can do what I did. I, I actually pulled some pages out before I started. You can pull them out as you go if it's getting too cramped. Um, you could use a pre-made notebook, like a composition notebook. You could, I'm trying to think of, I mean, really just anything because this is for you. And if you even want to then take notes about what you did or stick, like here's some of the pockets we did last time, you know, you could, um, write down some paper measurements and tuck it in the pocket. So it's really just an idea book for you. Um, and it's so fun, even when you start off that way, it ends up being, for me anyway, something I just enjoy looking at and holding. So there you go. All right, so today, I think I have three or four ideas, and some are very basic and easy, and I've got, I think, one or two that are a tiny bit more involved, but these are just, you know, really to help just spark your creativity, and then depending on how you decorate and embellish, they, they start to become super fabulous. So, I'm going to make a couple with some book page first, and, um, Again, depending on the size of your journal, the size of the book page you're using, you know, your, your papers will be different sizes. But but I will give you a measurement so you do know for perspective what size mine is. So this piece of paper is randomly seven and three quarter inches, um, I guess, tall. And then it is not quite four inches wide. So just to give you some perspective. And all I did with this one is I folded it in half and then it's not super fragile, but it's thin. So I'm folding over um, just a little bit because when we put it in our book, I'm just gonna randomly pick a page. Um, I'm gonna install it in such a way that um, this is going to become a pocket, okay? And yes, we are doing fold outs and flips, so stay with me, but we're gonna first glue down this um, piece that I folded over to reinforce the top of the pocket, and I folded it three quarters of an inch down. And then I'm going to install it on a page by adding glue right along the bottom of the page, the width of 
my, my um, book page pocket and the two sides so that when we glue it, I just, I have bunches of little things that I may end up using. You've got a pocket, right? And of course, then you can decorate this, make it look cute. You could put um, journaling paper on there if you want to be able to journal on it. And then when you get to this page, you have a flip down. Now, what do you do with the flip downs, right? Again, same thing. You could add some neutral paper and it could be almost sort of like a hidden journaling spot. You could um, add some decorative paper or um, something to make it look really cute. It, it's really up to you. Now, if you're worried about this flipping around, a lot of times, you know, once you close things up and this is super thin, it, it's going to be fine. It's not going to mess up. But um, I have done different types of little tuck kind of closures. Um, you know, you could use Velcro, you could um, something like that. But let me just show you a really easy way um, to make a little, a, a simple way to, to tuck it closed. And I'm trying to grab a piece of scrap paper. My scrap bin was out of reach. <laughs> so a circle of whatever size. And if you install the circle, just by putting glue on a portion of it and glue it to the page, your flip down can just tuck under there and then it's not flying around quite as much. You could use a punch of a different shape if you wanted to, like a tag style. Um, you could just do a rectangular piece of paper. I mean, again, any, any kind of ideas that, that you can come up with um, to help it close will work. All right, I'm going to just put a bookmark there so I remember where I'm at because we might go back and remind ourselves what all we did in our video. Okay, so this one um, I'm going to fold with a new piece of paper to show you because it's basically the same thing, but um, it, we're turning one of the flaps into a pocket and we're going to install it a little bit differently. So again, I'm going to use book page and I'm just tearing um, the white margins off because I feel like it, not because it's necessary. <laughs> and this one, I am going to fold over, I'm guessing that's what, maybe an inch and a half? Nope, oh, an inch and three quarters. So this is going to end up being a little pocket. And then I'm going to fold the other edge just right up so that it folds up. You, I could have folded it in half and had one of the, the pieces longer. It really doesn't matter. But that's how I chose to fold mine. Now, the way you install this idea, let's go to that page because it's a very similar um, flip. Um, we could even put it on the same page if we wanted to but we'll make it um, flip open this way. So there's a pocket, and now this one, when we install it, it's gonna open this way, and this is gonna be a little tuck spot pocket. So let's glue it closed. And I just kinda like the idea that you're on this page, you've got a pocket and a flip out, and then when you turn the page of your journal, You've got a flip down here, fun, right? And then this one is gonna flip open this way. So you could journal underneath, depending on how you decorate this page. Um, you could, again, have pictures or a journaling spot. So, nope, you're not gonna have a hidden journaling spot because I decided to flip it on this side. This side, you can just glue it down or you can turn this into a pocket, and I'm going to do that. So I'm going to install mine. This is when you don't write out all of your ideas and you start thinking of different things as you're going. We're going to add glue just to these two sides, and I'm also going along um, where it's going to attach to the paper to give us more stability. Okay. So again... Now we have a pocket here. And then on this page, it flips open 
and we have a little tiny pocket there. Isn't that cute? All right, and of course this can be decorated in any way you like, all right? Um, to kind of show you how super cute these can end up looking, I mean, as soon as you start, ah, look, that fits. As soon as you start um, layering some papers and things on here, you realize the potential. And of course, I love the book page look. I have no problem with it. But um, you just start to see how really fun and pretty these can be. You know what would also be cute on this one? Let's just take it up another notch. I'm gonna use my whale punch. I'm gonna go back to the same piece of paper I pulled out of the bin. And what if we put a super cute little tab on here? And I'm not worried about these, <laughs> my papers being all different colors and patterns, I'm just, reminding myself that, look, when you go to embellish this, you could really make it look super cute. Okay, and then imagine if you like add a number or a tag or something, um, I could add paper on this side of the pocket too. All right, so there's, there's that idea, I love it. All right, we did that one. Now, I'm going to go and do one that's a little bit larger, and this was to remind me what I'm doing, um, but then we'll fold it together. So for this one, we can put it on this page. Um, I took a just a piece of, um, it was printed on, this is like a 90 pound card stock and I only printed on one side. Obviously I could have printed on both, but what it turns into is on one page, one side it flips open and you have little pockets here like this. So little, little teeny tiny things can fit in these. Isn't that cute? Let me find another one. I don't know why, but I was wanting that one. I think I glued my pocket closed a little bit. What happens when stray glue gets loose? There we go, isn't that cute? Okay, and then on this side, the way we're gonna install it, we're gonna have two large pockets on this side of the page. So fun. So really, really easy to make. And I even added a scalloped edge to give it a little bit of extra pizzazz. Not necessary, but fun. So this could be made with book page too. If you have some larger book page, um, I just had these printed and decided I would use them. And it definitely is going to be nice and sturdy. So I folded it in half. I don't know, somebody's going to want to know what size my paper is. So you can make yours whatever size you want or with the papers you have. This is an eight but basically an eight by eight square for this one. Now, I did like that scalloped edge and I wanted in my idea book to remind me. So I'm gonna just punch it really quick and um, have that on my page. Just to remind me again, um, even little things about how you decorate a page are sometimes good to have in a idea journal, I think. All right. So, to make those two pockets on the other side, I want to use a circle punch and do little notches so you can see the pot, you know, the idea that there's a pocket there. And, um, all right, this is eight inches, so four is going to be, um, four inches is halfway. So I want to center my circle pocket, or my, bleh, the notch for my pocket, um, at two inches and six inches. Ah, I can finally get that out. Um, and use whatever size you want. I kind of want mine to be large because this is kind of a big piece of paper. So this is a one and three quarter inch circle punch. And I'm just going to make some thumb notches. Okay, fun, fun, fun. And I'm going to really, again, I said on the idea book we wouldn't do a ton of decorating, but sometimes just to kind of see 
um, how nice it's going to look. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Decide when you're installing it which page do you want to have your pockets on and which page do you want to flip open. So before I install it though, let's add some pockets. And I actually have had some of these little pieces out because I thought they might be fun. But instead of making pockets out of them, let's see what else I have my hands close by and then we can stick those in the pocket if we want to. Not that it's necessary to, again, stick things in the pockets of your idea book, but just to make it look cute as I go. Okay, so let me see how wide do I want my pocket to be. If this is an eight by eight piece of paper, that's approximately four inches. So why don't I make my pocket three and three quarter inches wide? Let's see if I did, okay, because of my scallop, it's a little too big. So we'll go to three and a half. Okay, and I really don't want this one to be that deep. So I'm gonna make it a one and a half inch. I've got two one and a half inch pockets now that are three and a half inches wide. And I'll do one with the roses. And in fact, just so we can have a little bit more of the roses, I'll make it a two inch pocket. And I think I'm gonna install them this way. Oh. I cut the paper weird, so now this one is not as wide. What did I do? I don't know what I did on that strip of paper. Goodness, I think I just turned it in the cutter the wrong way. I did. See the font? <laughs> it's okay. You get the idea. And that was the whole point of this is an idea. So this one pocket, even though it looks a little strange, we'll put it towards the top. It's a little more narrow. I'm going to bring it down some. And then these two, I'll just layer underneath. And obviously, when you go to make this flip out for a journal, you could leave this as journaling space. You can put a belly band here. Do, do, you don't have to do three stacked pockets. Uh, again, this hopefully will just get you thinking, oh, yes, I can do a fun flip out. And then I can design the pockets in a variety of ways. And if you're not sure you're gonna remember that, you could take your pen or your pencil, whatever. I'll take my pen and say, um, uh, other ideas, belly band, uh, change pocket, types, styles. Okay, so then when I'm looking at this idea book later and I open that up, just to spark my memory, oh, I don't have to do three stacked pockets. I could easily do, something that will fit in there, I could easily do um, these other ideas as well. Now you can also decorate this side or use it for journaling space, lots of ideas. But to install it, you're gonna install it on this side. And I do want to guesstimate about the middle um, of this piece of paper, so the four inch mark, or you can just get your ruler and mark it because you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna do a strip of glue right down the middle on this edge, along the bottom, and this edge. And then when you glue it in, you now are gonna have a fabulous pocket here. I'd let the glue dry and a fabulous pocket here. Isn't that great? Um, would, it would also be fun to maybe add pockets here as well. So if you want to, 
could write down um, leave for journaling, add pockets, add belly band, uh, collage, you know, whatever, you know, just all these different ideas to help you um, when you come back to this one, okay? I'm gonna take those out because I'm sure I'm gonna use them for something else and same thing on this side, all right? Okay, I'm not gonna leave my pretties in those pockets in my idea journal right now. Okay, so we've done one, two, three, and I do have one more idea. So actually I had four prepared for you guys. So this is going to be um, an opportunity for additional, like to add pictures or again, journaling or something like that. And it is just a super easy accordion flip out. So I used scrapbook paper, so it's 12 inches long this one happens to be three inches wide and you can put it on your scoreboard and do score at three six nine and you'll have four squares the exact same size i'm gonna eyeball mine and not worry if they're not all the same and i'll show you what i mean by that so i am first gonna fold one way then i'm gonna accordion style fold it back she's in the paper and one more time now obviously I didn't even come close and I'm okay with that I'm gonna flip this one back and this is actually gonna be my flap that I attach it with right this way and it can open this way now if you want to know where I folded this when I just jumped in there, I ended up folding it at two, basically two and a half inches. And then that left a little one and a half inch flap, approximately. Okay, and then to install this one, you decide where you want it on the page and you can plop it down. Now you could also do it this way, right? And it could go up and down, you could put it in the middle. Um, you could wrap it around the edge of the paper <laughs> and it could go like this that's kind of fun so possibilities are endless I am going to put mine down with glue on this one flap and that's going to be mine now it does flop up a little bit and if that's going to bother you um, again, you could add something a little, and I'm going to show you a, a little closure, and this is why I put mine on the edge this way, but you can add a little closure or you can leave it. Most likely it's going to be fine. And when you get to that page, you know, you're flipping through your journal, you get to this page, and you're like, Ooh, this is fun. But if that bothers you, I'm going to teach you, show you how to make a cute little, um, wrap around closure. So I am going to cut a piece of paper that is one inch wide and this one happens to be two and three quarter inches long would be my guess. And I'm gonna fold it in half. And then um, on this side of the page, on the other side of the page, we are gonna glue it down nice and sturdy. So it's not gonna go anywhere and you want it to dry. <laughs> and then on this side, I'm gonna use my little Velcro dots. If I can find them. And, um, I've shown you guys these in other videos, but in case you're new or you haven't seen them, these are the little teeny tiny ones. They're three eighths of an inch, but they're super skinny, which is why I like these. Um, and if you wanna look at them to get get a sense of you know how much they are and everything, they are in my Amazon storefront. 
and um, I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I get a couple of pennies. If you guys make a purchase using one of my links, you don't have to. You can just Google them, um, look them up yourself. You can buy them like at Office Depot or Office Max, something like that. But um, that's in the description of the video if you want one. Now, I don't mind mine having this happen. Um, I, I like it. But if that bothers you again, you could do another tab. Um, you know, you could do another strip of paper or a tuck spot for it to tuck up under. And it could go like this. And then when you're done, if this was attached here, you would just lift that up and tuck it back in. So, you know, lots of, lots of things you can do, but I really like this little around the page closure. Um, I just thought of something and I haven't done one like this, but I think this would work beautifully. So we are going to, here, we'll, we'll do another one and we'll, we'll close it that way. So this one is folded even different, you know, a little, a little, um, what am I trying to say? The, the, the last flap on this one was much larger and this is a piece of scrap of paper that had some branding on the back, but that's okay. I do want the little circles on the front though. So for this one, we're going to glue it down on this flap. And if you want, you can put glue on three sides and make it a little pocket. I'm going to bring mine not quite to the edge again. And now let me show you the idea that I have that I haven't done before, but I'm liking this idea a lot. It just popped into my head. So we're going to do it. I need a strip of paper though that is longer. So let's hope this one's long enough. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to attach it the same way we did the other one, but we're gonna bring this one all the way over to this part of the page. And then you won't have this this feature. Again, not that it bothers me, but it might bother you. So let's see. We need I'm gonna tear that just so it has a cute torn edge. And I'm gonna tell you how long mine is. And I'm gonna tear it here. And you can cut yours, you don't have to tear it. So this piece of paper is approximately one inch by five inches. And we are going to glue it in the same way we did the other one. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is acting funky. All right. Glue that in like that. Let it dry. Not always the most patient with that. And then I am going to add my Velcro. I usually try to, um, I just wanna keep these in the package where you don't allow them to do this. <laughs> Stall them like that, see? Okay. Let's add the Velcro right there. I'm already missing one of my little pieces. There it is. And again, when I do it, I like to stick them together, Velcro to Velcro, and then lay it over where I want it, and I know they're lined up the right way. Ooh, I really like this one. And now, again, you can decorate each little page with um, images. You can add writing paper, neutral writing paper, that type of thing, and have a lovely, lovely um, accordion flip out. I definitely like this one better. I'm gonna leave this one here um, to remind me of that and why I like doing it that way, but I, I'll probably do some like this as well. Okay, so let me put my little pieces of Velcro away so I don't lose them. And there's quite a few in a pack of these. They last me, um, even though I use them often, they, they last quite a while. And they don't wanna go in. Let's see, how many you get? You have 56 circles. I'm gonna just set them aside. Play with them later. 
All right. So one idea is the accordion journaling something something spot. Uh, this one is the flip out with pockets on both sides. And then we did two out of book page, one that flips down so that you can have some journaling with a pocket. And then this one flips open with a pocket here and a pocket here. I like these ideas. Again, they're easy, they're fun, and add interactive elements to your journal. So I hope you like them too. I hope you will make some. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have suggestions or ideas for other things you want to see, let me know. And I'll be back soon. So guys, until then, take care and thank you so much.